Kings playoff fever is sweeping the city right now. While we've all been chanting light the beam, a group of artists have taken their love of the team to the streets and they've created uh, something great for all of us to share. This morning, Gary's on the go to show us the giant street mural by Graffiti for Good. Oh, the Golden One at Center, right down, of course, K Street right here. And guess what? When the Kings win, the city becomes gorgeous. Look at this. Light the beam. The artists are hard at work. This was actually finished uh, when they played the game on Saturday, but now they're doing some finishing touches. Let's walk across the street and find out exactly what's going on with these guys. I'm so glad they came out this morning to kind of hang out with us. We got John over here. We got Ten. We got Joe. How are you doing, John? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So tell us what's going on here. What did you guys line up? This is the coolest thing ever. Yeah, so this is uh, Graffiti for Good. We've been... Just painting this space, trying to add some encouragement to the city. Got some local artists that have just come out, hoping to light the beam. Uh, we and got. You did it. Yeah. You lit the beam, and the Kings lit the beam. Twelve foot letters, 168 feet long. Um, we had a great uh, community involvement. We sure. had, yeah, the neighbors were were in on it. Um, Giuseppe family, who owns this wall. Uh, allowed us to paint, and then the Kings have just been great hosts, man. Love that. All right, yeah. let's keep going this way. Let's, just, let's give everybody a little look at what's going on. We come around the corner right here because, uh, as I mentioned, you know, on Saturday, this place completely packed with everybody because the Kings did it, man. They actually got that victory. 17 years since they were in the playoffs, and guess what? When you turn around the corner, you're never really going to find out. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's Matt Barnes. Okay, like we didn't stage that one, but he wanted to come out to say hi. Matt, how are you, man? Good morning. Good morning. How you guys doing? Great, man. Good to see you. All right, so this has got to be pumped. you got to be pumped for this. Obviously, not only the Kings back in the playoffs, you're a local guy, played at Del Campo, and then boom, the city is looking fantastic. Yes. I mean, I, I, understanding being from here, how important the Kings' success is to this city. Uh, you see all kinds of creativity from light to beam to this beautiful mural all the way down this street. So I'm just excited for the city. That's awesome. All right. Let's walk around the corner a little bit. We'll walk. Larry will follow us because we want to show this a little bit. Um, the game, though, too, on, you know, we've got to talk a little bit about that on Saturday night. They got to what you played for both teams. So was it tougher for you or no? No, I mean, I'm in the middle, but I mean, I'm from here. You know what I mean? So my heart is with the Kings, especially because they haven't had any success on the court in such a long time. So it was just great for those guys to get out there and play, for the city to get behind them. And that was probably one of, and I've been in a lot of loud arenas, probably if not the one of the loudest arenas I've ever been in on, uh, on uh, was it Saturday or Sunday? Yeah, it was, it was Saturday, exactly. Saturday night, yeah. Yeah, Saturday night. So we, we think of the old Arco, and that was the loudest. And, you know, right. back in the day, it was incredible. And you played for that 4 5 team. It was, it was insane, you know, uh, but this is crazy loud right insane insane i had jason williams out here yesterday to do my all the smoke podcast and we talked about you know the difference between arco and in and, and this place and he thought the same thing he, he thought that golden one was louder so that's saying a lot because you know back in the day arco was the loudest arena in the, in the nba all right did you were you at all surprised at what you saw on saturday night because tonight is game two were you at all surprised uh not necessarily surprised just, just just happy for these guys because obviously you know although the warriors haven't had a great season they still are the nba champs they still have you know three or four hall of famers so for those guys to kind and go through the ebbs and flow of the game, be down, get back up, and then come through with a clutch win at the end. I was really happy for the team. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh, I love that. All right, and then tonight's going to be even bigger and better. It's going to be great. And one last thing before we let you go, what do you think of this? I mean, this is really cool, the artwork, huh? I think this is dope. I mean, light the beam. Whoever came up with that slogan needs a big hug from somebody, maybe some money. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, this group that came out here and painted this wall, it, it's just amazing. Again, it's so much more than just basketball for this city. I mean, there's not a ton of stuff to do. So when the Kings are good, the city's on fire and that you get you know, great creative people to come out and do stuff like this. It's awesome. Who knows what's going to happen later on when the Kings keep lighting that beam because that could happen. This is just round one. All right, Matt, thanks for coming out, thanks, enjoying uh, hanging out with you, and, of course, the artists. Love the artists right there, down there in the end, working it out. This guy's saying Kings in four. He said Kings in 16 is what he said. He wants all championships, what he wanted. All right, there you go. Matt Barnes, we're going to send it back to you. Thank Gary. you, Gary. <laughs> Light the beam. It's a sports